white vintage, uh, but uh, we have done the bottling of this vintage 2008 uh, last week. So basically, we, we put away after a few months of aging uh, our wines, we blend them, uh, and uh, it's located for uh, one or two months uh, in uh, steel tanks uh, before the, the bottling. Uh. So just to come back uh, from the vinification, we fill uh, the barrels. Uh, and you will see some signs, some numbers. Some. So all the barrels are in uh, oak. It's coming from a French forest, it's French oak. Different, um, different French forests, different regions, from center of France, from Alsace, from Burgundy, and same thing. And after, um, we, um, we, the, the piece of wood uh, are stored outside uh, for 36 months uh, minimum, let's say. Uh, so it's outside. It's it takes the, um, uh, the water, the wind, uh, etc. It takes part of the terroir of the of the groovers. Uh, second difference, the, the heat. Uh, and you will see some signs, for example this one. Uh, no, maybe nobody sees it. It's M or M plus. Uh, this is uh, the kind of toast, sometimes it's B. B is blonde. Uh, it's a very, very light uh, toast, let's say. M means medium and M plus means medium plus. Uh, so this is more toasted. Uh, and it will bring more uh, uh, toast flavors uh, into our wines. In our policy, we try not to uh, bring too much toast uh, in, our, in our wines, uh, but we, we use three because uh, some wines can better match with, with that. Uh, but it's mostly M, B, uh, then a medium plus uh, We keep our wines for uh, uh, 16 to 18 months uh, in barrels uh, before the blending into steel tanks. Uh, and uh, steel tanks, we blend the, the wines for uh, one or two months uh, before the, the bottling. And then after the bottling, uh, we keep the wines and we prepare the, uh, the orders for our customers. Uh, we do orders by order. So as you see here, it's uh, our full production. We have uh, approximately 40,000 bottles per year produced. And uh, in this uh, area, uh, which is uh, half uh, the storage capacity for, for us, uh, we had the eight. On the other side of the plastic curtain, we, we have uh, still aging 2009 vintage, uh, so only at the beginning of this, uh, this stage. Uh. And uh, in November, approximately 2010, we will we'll have here the 2010 vintage. Uh. So we uh, will put away some of these barrels uh, and we'll keep some of these barrels uh, because we replace. Uh, 60% of our uh, oak barrels every year. So we have 60% new and 40% one vintage oak barrels. And um, we put the wine in these barrels, uh, but we uh, do not leave uh, there for 60 months. Uh, we do small operations because there is no filtration from uh, the, the time where you pick the fuel juice or the fresh juice to this side. So when you fill the barrels, uh, uh, there are some leaves uh, or some sediments uh, inside uh, that can uh, give uh, uh, very nice things to the wine. And it needs to be uh, put into suspensions to, to feed the wine. So that's why we use uh, this uh, model of uh, storage. You can hold the barrels uh, and uh, when necessary, you do one. Well, you have to be careful that. <laughs> Generally, well, let's take another one. This one, and you do one turn on one side and one turn on the other side. And after the sediments are in suspension and go down and will give a, a good things, good polyphenols to the to the wine. Uh, we do also what we call racking. So racking is the uh, historical uh, uh, way of uh, putting the sediments into suspensions. And racking, we open uh, the uh, bond of the barrel, this, this is in silicone, and we put uh, the uh, racking uh, uh, machine, and we put away the, um, the sediments into suspensions. But this, this way is uh, more violent and also uh, brings oxygen into the wine, which is not uh, the best thing. So that's why we, we bought this system, it's called Oxaline system. Uh, it was first uh, invented in 2001, and we, we had the third gener generation here of Oxaline. 
I invite you to, to go to the tasting. Yes. No, so, turn to the left or across the one.